Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about the Apatite Gemstone. The name of the stone Apatite comes from the Greek word Apatine, which means to deceive. The stone was given this name because it was easy to confuse with other types of stones. While the gem comes in many colors, it remains a very popular blue gemstone. Apatite has a hardness of 5 on the moss hardness scale. This brittleness makes it hard to cut or cap and turn into jewelry. It has numerous scientific and other uses, as well as being used as a gemstone. However, when a transparent apatite with clean color gets discovered, it remains useful for faceting. Chatoyant or cat's eye apatite stones get cut and used as cabochon for use in jewelry. If an apatite stone has rutile crystal, the stone displays a cat's eye effect when cut a certain way. Asparagus stone remains one name for green apatite, while blue gems are sometimes called meroxite. Five varieties of apatite exist. These varieties include, chlorapatite, fluorapatite, meroxite, vanadinite, wilkeet. Apatite stones remain hexagonal. They can also be described as prismatic, massive, granular, compact, and oolitic. This gemstone comes in a wide variety of colors, including, blue, colorless, white, green, yellow, brown, purple and violet, pink, gray. Apatite also comes in various shades of all those colors. Apatite has a vitreous luster with an uneven to conchoidal fracture. It fluoresces under UV short and UV long light and is very sensitive to heat. Apatite remains found with many different types of stone. You may find the gem in pegmatite, veins, and cavities in sedimentary rock, in phosphate beds, and metamorphic rock. Apatite sources can be found in, Brazil, Myanmar, Mexico, Canada, the Czech Republic, Germany, India, Madagascar, Norway, South Africa, the USA, Sri Lanka, and Spain. Apatite remains too brittle for use for jewelry in many cases. But, when the stone gets cut, a spectacular gemstone gets created. Also, the wide variety of colors of apatite makes using the stone an exciting adventure for both jewelers and jewelry fans alike. Blue Brazilian and the neon blue-green stones command the highest prices for apatite on the market today. Gemstone experts compare a great neon blue-green apatite to the Paraíba tourmaline. Some rare, deep purple apatite gems remain highly sought after, too. Gemstone cutters find apatites challenging to cut, which adds additional cost to the jewel. Characteristics that influence the value of an apatite stone remain much the same as those of other gemstones. Color saturation, clarity, and the size of the stone can determine the price of an apatite. Brazilian blue and neon blue apatite, as well as blue cat's eye apatite, remain preferred by many buyers, which tends to raise the stone's price. Intense, gem-quality blue apatite remains found in Brazil and Madagascar. These stunning blue and blue-green stones have become very popular in the marketplace today. Most gem-quality blue apatite comes in sizes less than 5 carats, though larger specimens have been found. Mexican yellow apatite remains easily found. Thousands of crystals get cut into gemstones of 5 carats or less.
Chitoyance, or the cat's eye effect, occurs in blue and green appetite from Sri Lanka and Myanmar. Yellow cat's eye appetite exists in Tanzania and Sri Lanka. Exceptional cat's eye appetite specimens exist in Tanzania. It remains possible to use heat to enhance the way appetite looks in some cases. Heating must be done carefully by an expert, however. Careful heating improves the depth of color in blue and blue-green appetite gems. Heating yellow appetite makes the gemstone colorless. Because the stone isn't as hard as many gemstones used in jewelry, any appetite jewelry requires special care. Suggestions for keeping your appetite jewelry in tip-top shape include only wearing appetite jewelry for special occasions. Choosing a setting that protects the appetite. Choosing earrings, pins, and pendants when choosing appetite jewelry. These types of jewelry receive a less potential chance for damage than do rings and bracelets. Treat your appetite jewelry as you would your opal jewelry. Don't use mechanical cleaning methods to clean your appetite gems. Avoid bumping the gem into anything hard, use of acids, and exposure to heat sources. With this information, you should buy and enjoy your appetite jewelry and gemstones. That's it. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please share your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.